Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Oler's Wallet, and SoFi has rolled out a new promotion to help you save quite a bit of money while we're all trapped indoors. And Hilton is extending status and a few other customer friendly moves, so let's take a look at these. Now, if you're someone who likes credit card rewards and learning how to travel for less, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn that notification bell on as well so you don't miss out on future videos. Also, considering the video a thumbs up, it really does help the channel out. Now, let's first start off talking about SoFi, and I've talked about SoFi a few times, mostly regarding their money account and how it can be a great option as an international debit card. And I'm just becoming a bigger and bigger fan of their products. I even took a survey a couple weeks ago about a possible credit card from SoFi, and it looks like it could be a pretty decent option as well. So I do look forward to more information on that. Now, SoFi has offered promotions on their money accounts to help you save money in the past, like earning 20% cash back on Lyft rides, which was a pretty good offering if you're somebody who used Lyft. And again, SoFi is coming through with a great promotion to help people save money considering most of us are in our houses due to, and if they keep this up, I'm gonna start calling these SoFi offers. And right now, until June 30th, you can get 20% cash back on Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus, Hulu, HBO Now, CBS All Access, Spotify, Pandora, Google Play Music, and DoorDash. Now you do need to put your SoFi money account as your default payment and pay your streaming services or DoorDash with your SoFi account. Then you'll receive your cash back in about two to four days, which is pretty quick. But their fine print says it could be up to 14 days. Now, I typically don't advocate using debit cards over credit cards because of the protections credit card can give you as well as reward earning rates. But earning 20% cash back is gonna be better than pretty much any credit card rewards you will be earning on these purchases at this time. Then I also wanted to mention that some of these streaming services are offering other promotions, so be sure to check those for ways to stack these free promotional periods with this offer to get yourself more from these offers. Now, when you do dig into the fine print, there are a couple things to keep in mind. To be eligible for the DoorDash savings, you need to have funded your SoFi account with at least $50 and be a member of DoorDash. Now, if you are a new member to SoFi, the savings is capped at $100 in cash back or $500 in spending. But if you're a current member, the cash back is capped at $40 or $200 in spending. And I think this is a little unfortunate. I really think it should be the same for all members, new or current. Also, if you haven't ordered from DoorDash before, there are tons of promotions out there to get $15 off your first order. So this could be a nice way to stack those offers. Then for the streaming services, SoFi mentions it's for ongoing monthly subscription payments. So it looks like paying for the full year upfront is not eligible. But I'll be curious if this is actually enforced or not because if it's not enforced, then you can actually look to stack Rakuten with SoFi for up to 50% off when you're looking to purchase Disney Plus. So be sure to let me know if you decide to pay for an upfront year and if it triggers that 20% cash back. And the maximum amount of cash back for the streaming payments is gonna be $75 back, which is $375 in spend. Now, even with these restrictions, I think this promotion is pretty awesome since people are indoors right now using streaming services to pass the time. And this is a great way to save money on those services you're using anyways. And if you use DoorDash to begin with, then I think this is a solid offer as well. Now let's talk about Hilton and what they're doing. Now Hilton is the first company I've seen to extend status for their customers. And I really like this proactive move. It's a customer friendly move and it also reduces people's worries about their statuses. Now I do expect Hyatt and other hotels to do something for their customers regarding their statuses. They could just be waiting to see what the damage is done and how long travel shut down before making a decision. But I would be extremely shocked if other hotels did not extend statuses for customers. But Hilton didn't even look at that. They seem to have went what would have been best for their customers and I love that. And if your status from 2019 was gonna be downgraded as of March 31st, well, you're receiving an extension for one year. So you get to keep your status for another year and it'll expire in March of 2021. And if you currently have status for 2020, well then you get to keep your status for two years, which is fantastic. Now Hilton has already announced that they're extending the credit card weekend certificates for six months on current certificates and new certificates issued from now until August 30th of this year will be good until August 31st of 2021. Also, if you were to make any new bookings from now until June 30th for a future date, you can cancel or change your reservation at no charge up to 24 hours before your stay, 
This even includes non-refundable stays. Then Hilton has also stopped the expiration of their points from today until December 31st. And I just love the fact that Hilton is being proactive here and really looking out for their customers. And all the moves they've made here are definitely great for members. I think it's quite generous for them to extend status for a full year and even let people book rooms without worrying if they're going to get their money back. And I really think it should make customers feel a little bit more comfortable making future bookings even if there's that potential that they're going to get canceled. And even by extending the weekend certificates for a year or more for some people should really put people at ease. So tell me, what do you think of these SoFi offers? And does Hilton Moves here make you more likely to stay or use Hilton? Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in this video. If you want to help support the channel, a simple way would be using some of the website or in the description below. And if you know somebody who could benefit from this video, feel free to share it with them. And until next time, safe travels and take care.